it, but then take it the rest of the way for the touchdown. And now you know they're going to have to hear about it from now on. The defensive backs, he's going to want to run with them, do their drills, the whole deal. He thinks he's the pace setter now. It doesn't matter what happens in practice this week, he's smiling. Bullock good on the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll probably wish he'd reconsidered here. It will cost him 10 yards as he's down at the 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. Yeah, he only gets a few yards on first and 10, but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse, an interception. Throwing again on second down. Jackson, they'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he will finally be taken down, but not before he reaches the 38. A big play there on the catch and run. 41 yards. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. And this is incomplete. He was looking for Nick Boyle that time. But it'll be second down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. A gain of 13. It's a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Ingram again, a first down carry. And give him about three as he gets it down to the 22-yard line. Seems pretty obvious defensively a key was stopping the run game. How have they done it so successfully? To me, it seems that these guys really did a nice job of paying attention during the scouting report meeting. And you know, Brandon, when they do those, they talk about the top plays that these guys like to run. The best runs for the top running back. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Sean Williams. This has been one mistake after another on the offensive side of the ball. That's now three interceptions to go along with two fumbles for him. And if you're going to turn the ball over five times in a game, your chances to win have to be about 100 to 1. And it's not looking good for him here. So here's Dalton and the Bengals now, first and 10 at the 20. There, D gets the INT. Now, what can Dalton do? He finds Ross, right side, it's complete. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out, and by a few inches, that'll be a first down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. He's going to float this one deep right side. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off here by Jimmy Smith. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. Now they get a fourth quarter pick. A little something to hang their hat on, I guess. Okay, so let's face it, though. Who's happy about this play? Fantasy guys, right? Yeah. The analytics will tell you one thing or another. That's a bad play on one hand, a good play on the other. But it's all about the fantasy points here. Yeah, because this ball game is over. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Yep, yep. Pop, pop, pop. Mike's busy. Jackson, option right. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. On plays like this when the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, 
or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision, and receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. On second and nine, Jackson. And he is going to be run down. What a disaster there. A huge loss. Geno Atkins in there to record another sack. And that is now six on the afternoon for this defensive unit. Jackson, option right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. A big offensive explosion help leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. From Baltimore, so long, everybody.